What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Last week we covered the new Hammer Bowling Radioactive Vibe. That's a very bright, very bold bowling ball. It's going to be really tough to miss going down the lane, but I think the biggest takeaway that we had from that video was the amount of performance that you're going to get for that price range. That is going to be super, super tough to beat, that is for sure. So uh, today we're actually staying within the Hammer brand, but we're going to be moving up in the performance category by throwing the new Hammer Bowling Dark Web Hybrid. Uh, but before we get started, make sure you go sub to the channel. We are on the road to 5,000 subs. Let's get into it. Now before we get started, the layout for the dark web hybrid is 45 by 4 and 5 eighths by 30. This is the same layout that we had last week for the radioactive vibe as well, so hopefully we will have some comparison videos coming up shortly. All right, so today we are throwing a new dark web hybrid, another addition to the web dark web line within the Hammer brand. I've only thrown this ball a few shots in the right lane just to uh, kind of get warmed up for this video, but uh, I think we're going to like this one. When Hammer came out with the uh, the web line, you know, the web, the web tour, those were really, really popular uh, just from the Hammer brand itself. Definitely a popular uh, a line on the PBA tour, that's for sure. I think the web tour was, was thrown about more than any other ball we had at the time when it was uh, in the lineup. Obviously now we've, we've had the dark web and now the dark web hybrid. So I'm excited to see what this ball can bring to the table. I think when people uh, when people think of the web line coming from Hammer, it's uh, kind of the staple for the benchmark uh, benchmark motion out of the brand right now. It's been that way for a few years now. Again, going back to that web tour, that was kind of a, a very very popular piece, and I think this will be the same. Again, we're adding a new new cover to the uh, to the line again with some HK22 action, so you're getting even more performance at that same benchmark motion again. When talking about the, uh, the new cover we have, it is the HK22 Aggression Hybrid, but also wrapped around the modified Spheroid core. Again, that core will uh, obviously give you the numbers to uh, kind of have that predictable motion that we're looking for, again, in the benchmark piece, but maximizing, uh, maximizing our performance here with this HK22. Again, we've used the HK22 on plenty of pieces now. It is a very, very popular uh, piece in all the brands that we have, and that's what's gonna give you uh, maximum performance here. The core numbers from the dark web hybrid give you an RG of 251 and a differential of 048. So uh, kind of honestly in the middle for uh, both RG and differential. You know, you know, don't have a, a super high or super low RG. Nothing that's going to be uh, trying to rev up too early or late. And again, differential is not, uh, not the highest um, flaring piece, but it's definitely not low. So it gives you, uh, again, just the right performance for that benchmark motion that we're looking for. I need to push. I think we're going to go ahead and, and bump a couple boards right here. If you haven't watched my videos before, I do uh, I do hook it probably more than your normal left-hander. So uh, we are here today at Shelby Villanian at Blue River Bowl, bowling on their house shot, which will be used for, for most videos. We have uh, used a, a different pattern once or twice just to kind of compare some things, but uh, this will be the normal for most of our ball reviews. I don't have my radioactive vibe with me right now, but uh, you can definitely tell that this is just a little bit sooner, a little bit stronger off uh, off the spot. I feel like, you know, again, the radioactive vibe is not uh, not going to be that high performance piece. This is uh, definitely giving you a, definitely a, a stronger piece in the hammer lineup. That's for sure. I think if I'd uh, compare this to kind of a ball that's been in, in my bag for a while now, it'd be uh, close to the Track Kinetic Cobalt. I know uh, maybe numbers wise it's not you know, dead similar, but to me this is kind of giving me that same, uh, again, the benchmark motion is giving me the same, 
same reaction over and over again. I can rely on it to, to not miss the spots and kind of be in the middle of my bag. I, th I definitely think this ball goes kind of the middle uh, upper part of my bag strength-wise for me. That's, uh, that's kind of where my kinetic cobalt sits as well. Compared to the, uh, let's say, the Envy Tour, I think, I think this definitely has uh, more off the end of the pattern, probably numbers-wise as well. The Envy Tour is probably uh, a little sooner and smoother, I would say. This, uh, I think this is just a stronger overall piece. You can see more arc and motion down lane with the dark web compared to that. And again, compared to the radioactive vibe, obviously that's, that's just a weaker piece. It's cleaner than, uh, than this dark web. So we're going to go ahead and move a couple boards left. And I say a couple, it's going to be a lot more than a couple. More like, uh, say around 12, 15 boards left. But uh, you know, with this piece, with the dark web, I think we're going to need to take a whole lot of hand out of this. A lot less uh, rev rate, less rotation. Uh, this definitely, again, has a lot of performance. So I'm going to need a lot less of what I'm usually bringing uh, at the line, that's for sure. pretty good. That is one good thing. Again, we're throwing kind of uh, the benchmark piece for the for the hammer brand here. That is, uh, that's kind of the motion you want to see when I'm when I'm standing left like this. Granted, I don't need to do this very often. I will probably throw, um, you know, a weaker piece or, or something else in this spot, but uh, say I need to go to this this part of the lane on a house shot or anything else to see, uh, see the ball have the reaction like that when I'm changing what I'm doing. It's a, it's a really good sign. As much as I love to see that, you know, going two for two, playing a lot farther left than normal, I think we're going to kind of go back right to our normal uh, normal spot for this half shot, normal release, and just see what we have for, for the rest of this video. You know, I'm really, uh, man, I'm really excited after what I'm seeing. This is, uh, I think it's just more performance than what I expected. I mean, I, I, I didn't really throw the original dark web too much, so uh, I think I'm just a little surprised at uh, the amount of downlay motion I'm getting with this piece right now. You know, the more you bowl, the more, uh, the more bowling balls you have drilled, you can kind of, uh, kind of tell pretty quickly, I think, what, uh, what you're going to like after throwing a ball just a, just a few times. And I think this one is definitely going in the bag. This kind of meets uh, what I like to see going down the lane. Has that, uh, that motion that I like to see. Everybody obviously does it differently. And uh, I think this one is, is uh, going to be in my bag for a while, that's for sure. We've moved. Uh, we moved pretty far right. The ball is just definitely not losing its, uh, its hitting power going through the pins. That is for sure. You know, it's uh, kind of makes you feel like you can stay in this ball a little longer. Obviously, if you're striking a lot, you don't really want to go away from what's working, right? So, uh, something you really want to see. I'm going to try to keep this one in the oil just a little bit longer. See if we. Uh, Get somewhat of the same motion that we've been seeing so far. And uh, yeah, let's see what we have here. I think they have this ball listed as, uh, as upper mid performance. And uh, again, obviously with the numbers and the makeup of the ball it is, but uh, I definitely uh, could think that if you hit this one with uh, a lot of surface if you're bowling on a, a longer pattern. This could probably uh, compete with a lot of high performance bowling balls out right now. That is, uh, I think that's a fact. This might have been the uh, most boring video possible. I don't know how many we, we've, uh, we've actually missed with this ball yet. I mean, I, I, this kind of just shows, I think if you're looking for that, uh, yeah, like I just said, upper mid performance ball. If you're really wanting to to pay the price and get something 
for that price point, this dark web is, is going to be the, be the answer. That, that is right. Still got the seven out. I'm going to, uh, to try to somewhat kind of not really throw it out the window to the left here. You know, we've, we've tried to keep it in the oil some. Ball had the same motion, which is really good, but I feel like we haven't had too many that have uh, gotten to the spot or, or got left too quick. So we're gonna see if we can try to do that one time to end this video here. Yeah, we'll take it. All right, everyone, that is all we have for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed this review of the new Hammer Bowling uh, Dark Web Hybrid. Again, just kind of like the last video with the radioactive vibe, it, it's hard to beat the performance that we're seeing for this price point. Again, they, they listed as the upper mid performance and it is, uh, this is kind of blown me away from what we are seeing on the lanes right now. That is for sure. You know, I can, I can make a cheesy pun, but again, I think HK22 literally strikes again. I mean, HK22 is just showing how good it is uh, performance wise for some of our bowling balls. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't already, please go like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. And I do that.